Uh, he's been kind of an ag- advocate for UFC fighters not getting paid lately. <laughs> have you heard this? I have, but I, I think it's more of just him trying to get under Dana White's skin than it is him actually caring. But what's the point yeah. of under Dana White's skin? But is he right? I mean, I think he's right, though. I mean, I agree. I think they, I think that's, that's the UFC. Yeah. Apparently the UFC, the fighters make the lowest percentage of revenue from any sport. Yeah. I mean, he's been saying these guys, you know, they go out on the nine, they could die. You see what happened with what's his name's leg and they're making no money. I mean, all these fighters are making more versus, versus Jake Paul than they've ever made in their biggest fights in the UFC. The UFC has a, they have a monopoly mm-hmm. on the sport right now. I mean, they need to unionize. Where's the, the players' thing association? Is, you you hear about the top guys not making a, a ton of money and the top guys that can get paid. You know, I think people paid. are starting to turn. I mean, we've seen it kind of. I think it's John Jones has kind of been beefing with Dana about it lately. Yeah, John. I don't know. They should just pay him. Up. They can pay him. They can afford him, but. Yeah. But Dana doesn't want to. He doesn't want to pay anybody. He's selfish. Well, once you once you start once you start doing that, it you yeah, know, you got it's not a one time thing. It it opens up doors to all kinds of other things. Well, I mean, I see that, but too, I think the UFC it was structured this way back when it was still very small. But it's like it's huge now. It's bigger than boxing. So I think at this point you have to look at that and say, man, we have some real superstars that we need to take care of. I don't think it's bigger than boxing yet. I, I like it. Better I don't know anyone boxing. that watches boxing anymore. People watch, but the boxers get paid. So obviously, they do the big. There's a lot more money in boxing. But I've heard this too, and I don't know if this is true. I've heard your average boxer does make less than your average UFC fighter. Yeah, but the, the big because boxers heavy. really get paid garbage, but the big guys get paid like ten times as much. So your Canelos, yeah. Mayweather, guys like that, they get they the do. purse. But but if it's your average mid-level ufc fighter versus boxer i heard i've heard boxers make less so there's there's a lot more boxers yeah tons and tons of boxing boxer had boxing has all kinds of issues ufc kind of i think dana knew about those things and prevented a lot of those issues which is it's good <laughs> and bad Apolized it it's, it's good because it's, it's bad because he has control and he does mm-hmm. he can pay people what he want it's good because he can make people fight each other whereas yeah. in boxing you can just run away from each other that's the yeah that's the big thing that he did that was smart is he makes all these trilogy fights happen and there's really no say that the fighters have happen. To, yeah, it was I boxing mean, i mean we saw with mayweather and pacquiao in the prime they did fight but mayweather avoided that fight long to after pacquiao's prime he did and he, he he's known for that i mean yeah. he avoided he avoided people he fought canelo mm-hmm. early he fought Manny late. I mean, he he did that. Yeah, his career. So that is very, the one benefit. Very but I feel like if you don't start paying your fighters, and you're starting to see these other places pop up, man, you got Bellator, the other one. Um, they're gonna have options pretty soon. So you're gonna either want to keep your fighters yeah. or you're not. The U the UFC needs a players union like they have in they the do. other leagues. They do. Where they can get together and they all demand. The problem right now is. The big guys are going to say, oh, no, we won't fight until we get paid more. And then they have, then there's other guys that are making, yeah. you know, you have 20 other guys that are going to take that title fight. 20 and 20 to fight. And they're yeah. going to, they're going to fight because they need it to survive. Yeah. They have to pay for the gym. They have to pay for training. They have to pay to live. Mm-hmm. They have to fight. So exactly. That's where you have issues. And that's where you need a union to kind of all be on the same page and make it happen. Otherwise, yeah. someone's always going to come and fight. The way to do it, it might be to unionize Bellator or something like that, and then just everyone move over. <laughs> they try. I mean, people say that you that you should watch, be watching the other promotions to help them. But what the issue that you're going to have is you're going to have the big fighters fighting in different promotions, and then they're not going to fight each other. Yeah. So it's tough to say. I don't know what the best solution is. Something's uh, going to happen, though. It's going to change eventually. The UFC is bigger than any fighter right now. So, if, mm-hmm. and that's showing with John Jones is you don't want to fight. All right, we'll, we'll get the next guy. Yeah. And John mm-hmm. Jones has been on the shelf for, I think, almost two years now. And, he's, and I he, think he John said he's Jones not fighting until 22 or something. Yeah. He's the greatest fighter in the history. And he's, he's amazing. It's I don't worth know. He's it. The greatest in history. 
Harry. He's the greatest in the UFC. I lived through the Silva era, so. He's better than Silva. I don't know. Silva in his prime was pretty exciting. Silva was exciting. John Jones isn't the most exciting fighter. But you got the guy's been fighting nothing but title fights for 10 years. So, I mean, you got to give it to yeah, him. Yeah, that's true. There's a difference in, in having a long run and not, and you know, the competition goes up. But this guy has been the champ for the last 10 years, fighting the top guy every single fight. So yeah. while he hasn't been as dominant, he's won. It's almost like Khabib now is because we're missing, we're going to miss the rest of his prime when the time he comes back after two years off. Well, that's my, that's, that's, and that's part of that's why I, I like John Jones over Khabib because yeah. Khabib was great and he was more dominant. But he never fought. But he only defended it three times. Yeah. He didn't move up weight. He didn't go down weight. He fought in the same class. He didn't do, every Ramadan. He didn't give any like prime fight. Nobody had a, nobody got to have a rematch with him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. so I think he's he's easily surpassable. Was he dominant? Yeah, but yeah, he's easily surpassable. I agree with that. I don't like the fact that we never saw any of those. I mean, you could kind of say that he won him so dominantly. It's not like it would be worth it to run it back, but yeah, but there's guys that deserved it, and you only defend it three times. You didn't give anybody else a chance. I mean, yeah, I agree. If you want to be, if you want to be the best ever, you got, yeah. that's why I like Usman. Usman, you know, he's been dominant too. Mm -hmm. he beat everybody he's coming back again and beating everybody that's worth something yeah and it is wait so i mean yeah, yeah. that's where and he's he's has a loss and i would still put him over khabib yeah when you're right you're right man when you're right you're right well, another day the card okay. next week okay. what's next week we got a ufc card next week oh my goodness i did i can't keep up bring it up harry who's next week Who's next week? It's uh, Adesanya and Vittori. Mm. Hold on, let me pull it up. Man, this fight came up fast. I feel like we've been rolling through these fights this year. Well, Vittori fought. He he fought um, Kevin Holland not that long we ago. Saw Adesanya fight. We talked about that on the show. <laughs> that wasn't too long ago. And Adesanya, he wanted to fight in June, mm. and pretty much said, "Take it or leave it." So. He took it. Um, it's a good card. Yeah, Leon Edwards, Nate Diaz is back. Um, that should be an interesting fight. The rematch of Figueredo and Moreno, mm -hmm. which was a draw last time. Oh, yeah. Maya and Muhammad. Paul Craig, Jamahal Hill. All right, who Good we ones. got in this one? Who we got? We doing predictions? Oh, yeah, we got two. Got to run through these real quick. Even though I can't think of Paul Craig and Jamal Hill off the top of my head. I'll go Jamal. I'll go Hill in that first fight. Uh, man, I'll go Paul Craig just to be different than you because I can't remember either of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I like, I like Maya for the upset over Muhammad. Yeah, I'm going to go with Maya there, too. I think he's going to get him on the ground, and he's going to get him. Yeah. Edwards. Yeah, I think that's an easy one. Nate Diaz doesn't look like himself in his past few fights. I'm going Edwards. I like Figueredo. I don't think he's going to gas out this time. I'm going to go opposite on you in that one, too. I'm going to go Moreno. Moreno. <laughs> Let's see what he's got, just so we see. split it. He fought really good, but he took some damage last time. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it I, – I don't see it. It could happen, though. And Victorian Adesanya. Style bender for the win? This one's, cl this one's close for me. I like uh, – the last fight was kind of close. Mm -hmm. I think the, the blueprint to beat Adesanya is out there. It's just a matter if he can take him down. I think this is Asanya's chance to really – I mean, he, he's heading on his way to superstardom. He's killing everyone. He's got the personality. He's got the image. He made a big leap his last fight. It didn't go well. Um, yeah. I think he's got to bounce back here, and I hope he knows that. So I think big fight for him. I mean, it's, this is a huge fight for him. If he loses two in a row, this completely changes the trajectory his career is headed, I think. Oh, yeah, I agree. 
he goes from being, you know, the next one, mm-hmm. next big, big stuff. Yeah, I'll probably go out of Sonia. But it's closer than I think a lot of people are, are giving it. Yeah. I just think this is a mess win for him. It's a pretty big fight. Tori's pretty good. I like Vittori. Yeah. If he gets, I think if he gets him on the ground, he's going to beat him. But we'll see. That's a big if. June 12th, next Saturday. Exciting. Hopefully this one will roll like the last two have, so I don't have to stay up too late to watch it. Wrap that up by 12. Let's go. 